But I will thank you. We gather at your feet. It is a moment of deliverance. Holy Spirit, you are the minister of deliverance. Do your work now and take the glory. But I'm not in my hands. I bring simply to the cross of Christ I claim. You have given me the tongue of the learned to speak a word in season to him that is weary. Let every weary soul receive deliverance. They receive comfort. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Tell somebody congratulations. Rest your feet. It is a standing ministry because it is a deliverance ministry. And in the next few minutes, you are bound to receive deliverance. Why? It says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Only because you believe that your iPhone is truthful. That is why you spend $800, $700 to buy an iPhone. Because you believe when you pick up that iPhone and call somewhere, it, it will pick up. So you believe. Except they see a miracle, they will not believe. The gospel must work with miracles. Whenever the gospel is preached, miracle is required. According to John 4, 48, because... If they don't see a miracle, they will not believe the gospel. And the gospel is the truth. Tonight, I bring you a peculiar gospel of a peculiar truth. We started when we started with compromised body, soul, and spirit. Last week, you can listen to it on YouTube or Facebook. Compromised body, soul, and spirit. Man is a spirit with a soul. Living in a body. Man is a spirit with a soul living in a body. Three in one. And these three components, they have their peculiar battles. Each of them has been compromised. The compromise of the spirit has been fixed by salvation. When you are saved, the Holy Spirit that departed in the Garden of Eden and returned on the Pentecost, that Holy Spirit comes into you. It becomes the indwelling Holy Spirit. And you begin to walk your salvation and deliverance on a gradual process. Not all the benefits of salvation will you receive on the first day you are saved. But at least the issue of the compromised spirit has been fixed with the Holy Spirit. The soul, the next level, the soul has its own salvation on a daily basis. You have to be renewing your soul, renewing your mind daily with spiritual sacrifices. That is how you live out the salvation of the soul. The body in Beshe, the, bo the body in contrast is not saved. The body's salvation is not coming yet. The body must be crucified. There is no salvation operating on the level of the body. The level of your Blood, bones, and flesh. There is no salvation at that level yet. Hear me well. And because I'm saved, I can eat what I like. It will trouble you. You get that opening. Come with me very quickly. So, when body is compromised, when your body is compromised, when your body is compromised, what do we mean by a compromised body? A compromised body means a body that is not working according to design. A compromised body is a body that is not fulfilling the requirements of the blueprint. A compromised body means a body that is not disposed to work for the purpose for which it was created. A compromised body means a system in rogue. The body has gone rogue. The scientists discovered that there is nothing that should make the body to die, as a matter of fact. Because the cells of the body all the cells, they have the capacity to reproduce, keep reproducing. 
and keep renewing perpetually. But for some reason that they cannot explain with science, that power to repeat itself and renew continuously is damaged, is compromised. Science attests to that truth, but there is no explanation. You may get one tonight. It is still the work of sin. Sin compromises the body. And the body is totally compromised. Meaning the blood, the bones, and the flesh of me and you, they are in a compromised state. And they are not predisposed for the activities of a safe spirit and a safe soul. In fact, they work contrary to them. And since that is the only thing we have, to operate in this level, this molecular level, physical level. The body is the only thing we have to operate. We are operating at a deficit. If you can digest that information, your deliverance has commenced. Two scriptures. Genesis chapter 1, right from the beginning. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. What does it say? Let me help somebody out here so that you can see my screen better. Um, listen, I want to take it carefully because these scriptures are very important. I'm not in a rush. I'm not going to rush this because it's just too important and too deep to be rushed. So wherever I end, I end, join me tomorrow night at the midnight gate. I will continue at the midnight gate, 12 midnight tomorrow night. On Zoom, 9404772676. Wherever I get to tonight is good because of the prayers that we have to do. Now, that first scripture, what does it say? Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. It says, It says, God said, I have given you every plant with seeds and on the face of the head. And every tree that has fruit with seeds. This will be your food. This will be your food. Can somebody say that? Say, this will be your food. You see, do you know why you are not saying that statement? Which I don't say it in a feisty manner. It's because every one of us here believe food is what I go grab when I need it. Everybody, we, we think food is what I decide to eat, my desire, my will. I take food that I like and I eat. And because of that, it is very difficult to appreciate that statement from Genesis 1.29. That this will be your food. Who is speaking? To whom, when, and why? God Almighty is speaking. It is God that declares what is food, not you and me. It is deity that determines food, not you and me. But we have grown and accustomed to the idea. Food is what I like and what I decide to eat. And that is why the compromise of the body going deeper and deeper. Food is not what you like and what you prefer. Food is what has been prescribed by the deity in charge. From that scripture, God said, this is your food. What is not given to you as food, and you are eating it, is troubling you. What God has not called food for us, and we are busy eating it, is troubling us. In fact, it is the main root of compromised body. Our body is what we eat. What? You see now, as your muscles, your face, it's a product of what you have been feeding on. You started with the one your parents were feeding on. And you've now come to where you are feeding yourself. So what you see is what you have been feeding on. And many of us have been feeding on what is not food by the God we serve. How am I saying that? The first scripture I will show you again. Leviticus, the second scripture on that screen. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 4. What does it say? It says, nevertheless, 
among those that shoot the cord of part of the hoof, you shall not eat this. That is, there is something you are not supposed to eat, and there is something you are supposed to eat. It is not you who determines it. It is the prerogative of the deity. The prerogative of the one who is inspiring you. I just feel like eating hamburger. I go get hamburger. Live from the pit of hell. Before you go get hamburger, the thought must come. You must accept it. Somebody gives you the thought. Feel like eating hamburger. Go get hamburger. That is how thought works. We are not originators of thoughts. If you think you originate your thought, welcome to the truth. This truth shall set you free. You are not the owner of your thoughts. What do you have that has not been given to you? Even your thoughts and your imagination, they are handed to you. Every thought and imagination handed to you to disgrace you. Let those thoughts and imagination lose their power. Your amen is not resounding. Your amen is not resounding. There are thoughts given to some of us to damage our relationship. We have thoughts that fight relationship. We have thoughts that fight marriage. We just think our thoughts are hidden. Our thoughts have no effect. But no thought is hidden. I told you, we are like a monitor reporting to heaven per second per second. If you are reporting rubbish to heaven, heaven will deal with you. Many of us are reporting rubbish to heaven, and heaven is dealing with us. What am I saying? Even our thoughts, they damage us. Some thoughts are deliberately given to us to make us suffer. For whose amen shall I ring the loudest? I pray again. The thoughts and imagination given to you to make you suffer, let them die. Amen. amen. Having said that, now, I want somebody to coolly follow me to what I'm going to tell you now. What I'm going to tell, tell you now is this. The spirit and the soul must interact with this earth. And they can only do so with the flesh, with the body. The embodiment of the spirit and the soul allows the spirit and the soul to interface, that is, to act on the environment, on the physical world. Without the body, the soul and the spirit cannot react. It's like somebody who goes into an experiment room and you have to wear a special suit with a special hand. You can't go in with yourself. That you wish you must wear. You see those who have COVID and they go to treat them and they wear some special gaps and use special hands. That is the way our body is to the soul and the spirit. The soul and the spirit, they cannot act by themselves here. They need a body. And that body is given to you by conception and grown until you die. How that body grows is what has made our body to be compromised. If you follow me, it will become easier in a minute. The embodiment allows the spirit and the soul to interface, to participate in the physical world. Demons are spirit, critically looking for embodiment by rebellious means, or for the purpose of getting attention or getting worship from the living soul. Demons, we know they are disembodied spirits. Demons are what? Disembodied spirit, but they want to be embodied. And that is why they are always looking for man. Man with his own body, given to his own spirit and his own soul, also afford opportunity for demons to become embodied and act. So we have demons acting in us. Don't be fooled. Those who are telling you there is no demon in man, they are lying to you. All of us without exception. We have of the demons in us. We have evil spirits in us. We have spirits that are contrary to our destiny in us. There is no way to explain sin other than that. You only sin because there is another component. If the serpent did not show up, Adam would not commit a sin. There must be that element, the idol, the demon, the evil spirit, 
the stranger that is making us to sin. Amen. Now, I showed you some scriptures to show you that God defines what is food. Why is the body compromised? Because we eat what we are not allowed to eat. I will give you some scriptures. One, Leviticus, Leviticus 11, 2. Speak to the people of Israel, saying, These are the living things you may eat among all the animals that are on the head. These are what you can eat. Meaning, there is a list. Leviticus 11, 4. Says the ones you can't eat. Nevertheless, among those that should the cut or part the hoof, you shall not eat. That is all I need from that scripture to show you that God has in view what we can eat and what we cannot. Believe me, all of us have disobeyed God in that regard. We have eaten what we are not supposed to, particularly blood. You will find it in the same Leviticus that you can eat everything but not blood. If there was a sister that we told her here one time, many years ago, that you are not allowed to eat blood. And she got angry. Pastor, it is the blood that makes the soul sweet. He said, Pastor, it is the blood that makes the sweet sweet. How can you tell me we cannot eat blood? When we are cooking the meat, it is the blood that is cooking, that is making the meat to be sweet. How can you tell me you can't? No, that, that is rubbish. And the sister has been almost nine years looking to get pregnant and no pregnancy. Do you think the food she's eating is part of the thing tying her down? I believe. Listen to me very carefully now. If you don't get anything from tonight, before I give you more scriptures, get this. What do we mean that your body is compromised? One, we say your body is compromised when there is a strange fire in your body. What is a strange fire? A strange fire is something that you can't control. It's burning. And it can make you go crazy. It's the more a sister came, called me on the phone. She was hearing strange voices. And the voices were always speaking things that are totally horrible. And she can't stop hearing it. That is a strange fire. The brother coming from Wisconsin. From a dream. A dream. Ordinary dream he had. And since that day. There is something that moves around in the body. We know it's a serpent. But why did the serpent wait. Until that fateful day. To start that affliction. In that life. Rise on your feet. There are three prayers. I want you to pray now. Because of time activated battles. Say time activated battles. Ah, uh, say time activated battles. Say like a minute. Say like a minute. This is the first prayer. It says battles that always wait for every three years, every seven years, every ten years, every twelve years to appear. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Get it? I'm going to project it so that somebody, this particular prayer, there are three of them. They are going to quench strange fires. There is somebody here. There is a battle that comes in your life every three years. Somebody, it is every seven years. Somebody, it is every ten years. But as you take this prayer, that battle shall be suffocated by the power in the blood of Jesus. So I want you to shout that first one. At the top of your voice. Say battles that always wait for every 12 years to appear. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Shall we pray? Battles. You can do better. Battles that always wait for every 10 years to appear. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles that always wait for every 12 years to appear. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battle that always waits for every seven years to appear. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battle that always waits for every three years to appear. In Jesus' name we pray. You wish I say battles always waiting for the month of September to manifest. 
blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Somebody pray. Battles always waiting for the month of September to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of September to manifest. Battles always waiting for the month of September to manifest. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I need you to use it in succession. October, November, and December. Battles always waiting for the month of October to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battle die. Shall we go? Battles always waiting for the month of October to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of November to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of December to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battle continue like that. Battles that is always waiting for the month of October to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of November to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of December to manifest. Blood of Jesus, let the battles die. Battles always waiting for the month of October to manifest. In Jesus' name we pray. You can rest your feet again. Now listen very carefully to what I'm saying. Listen very carefully. So what do we mean by when the body is compromised? When the body is compromised means there's a strange fire in the body. Some of these strange fires, they are time activated. Nothing will happen all of a sudden. It will begin. The time has come. Whatever shame and disgrace is coming to maturity in your life today, let it backfire. What do we mean by your body is compromised? When you have a strange object in your body. When, you're, when there's a strange object in your body, your body is compromised. Believe me, many of us, a great number of us, carry strange objects in the body. Some, they just lie there dormant, waiting for a day to show up. Every such object in your body that is waiting for a day to show up, let it die. Yeah. Shout the threefold amen. 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 When your body is compromised, what do we mean? We mean that there are strange movements and motions in the body. Strange movements. You cannot explain it. There are some of us, the eye, you just start twitching. Papa, 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 papa. If it's not the right eye, it's the left eye. Papa, papa. And you can't stop it. And you get nervous. Why is my eye twitching? Some of us have explanation. I'm about to see something that is not good. If it is top eye, something is about to happen. If it's the lower eye, I'm about to see somebody, a stranger. I don't care what you're saying. I'm telling you that those are strange movements in the body. Strange motion. When you have such going on, you need to pray and don't get frustrated. Every evil prepared for my eyes to see. Let the evil die. Say every evil prepared for my eyes to see. Die in the name of Jesus. Shout it again. One more time. Amen. So when you see your eyes pushing, a prayer is called for. Release the prayer. If you don't release the prayer, you'll be unpleasantly surprised. What do we mean by the body is compromised? The body is compromised when there are strange animals in the body. Yes, there are strange animals that can be programmed into the body. The brother from Wisconsin, before we even say pastor, he's, he's moving like a serpent. I don't have the other phone, I would have read you. A sister that I got very mad with from Texas. I text me and say, Pastor, I have this serpent moving in my head. I go to the prayer line every night. Got me mad. You have a serpent moving in your head. And the greatest sacrifice you can do is to come to prayer line. You are not a member of a Bible believing church, a regular, tight paying member, and you want that problem to go. You need Jesus like you need air to breathe. You can't be one of those that go to only prayer line to catch prayer. No, you need to serve God on a real level. Belong to a church. Make your member, make yourself a member of the body. Only the members of the body can derive the benefits of the body. The body is the body of Christ. 
You can't be outside the body and desire to get the benefits of the body. If you don't enroll in a university, they won't give you a degree. You have to be enrolled to receive the degree. I'm not talking about honorary degrees, those are quash. I mean the degree you sweat for. You labor, you sweat, you read, you study. To get it, you have to be enrolled. You are not part of the body of Christ, but you want the benefits of the body. It's not going to happen. If somebody tells you it's going to happen, they are lying to you. What do we mean by strange movement in the body? There are strange animals. It could be a serpent. It could be a bird. We, we've seen cases we are a bird. In the, and the bird is shepping. We've seen the case of a talking pregnancy. Somebody pregnant. And the baby is talking. What am I saying? There could be strange animals programming to the body. The body is compromised. What do you mean by the body is compromised? When there is a strange sickness in the body, more so if that sickness is undetectable. Anytime you go to the doctor and the doctor is telling you, we, don't, we can't say anything wrong with you. No. It is because the body is compromised. There are sickness that are undetectable. There are sickness that are detectable. They are also the product of a compromised body. What do we mean by when your body is compromised? The loss of the eyes is because of a compromised body. All the sense organs are compromised if the body is compromised. The body is compromised. All the sense organs are compromised. That is why we marry our enemy. You see an enemy with your open eyes on the other side and you say, I love you. Who is going to kill you tomorrow? I love you. The eye is not working. There is something wrong with the eyes. The loss of the eyes. The eyes are lossful. You are never satisfied. You want more. I have a car now. I'm looking for the next model. Loss of the eyes is because the body is compromised. The loss of the flesh. The loss of the flesh is because the body is compromised. Uncontrollable sex ritual sex. That's what I mean. Uncontrollable ritual sex. That is to distinguish between matrimonial sex and ritual sex. Only the sex on the matrimony bed is allowed. Every other sex is a ritual sex. It's an act of worship taken from you by fertility deities. And when you do it, you obey and worship them. A part of you, you are part of them. They will control you and manipulate you. When you don't want them anymore, they will not go unless Jesus Christ is brought into it with knowledge. Uncontrollable ritual sex means the body is compromised. They can't control it. They have desire they cannot control. They just keep doing it and they keep doing it. It happens to all part of the society. Pastors and non-pastors. It doesn't matter who you are. When these powers look at you and are interested in your case, you could be a general overseer. Look at the scandal of the churches. Tell me what has been used to bring down the men of God. Modern sex. It's because it's uncontrollable. It's because the body is compromised. Uncontrollable ritual sex. The body is compromised. Uncontrollable sexual immorality. People just don't want to obey God. Why would God prescribe death for adultery? Have you ever wondered why? And why did God say a bastard shall not enter into the congregation for 10 generations? It's because it's coming from sexual immorality outside of marriage. Strange sexual preferences means the body is compromised. The reason why I'm giving you this this, this list is because the moment you gain knowledge and you know the truth, God is aware. It means you are studying to show yourself approved. That means God himself knows now the difference between who is sinning and doesn't know it's a sin. And who is sinning know it's a sin and know this, I must stop it. The day you know you must stop your sin, you are of a different sort. God knows you are going to stop it. You know you must stop it. Even though you are not stopping it now. But you know. But there are some who sin 
and they take joy in it. They don't see anything wrong in it. For them, it is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I was telling me, said, there's nothing wrong with teenage pregnancy. I said, what? No, there's something wrong with teenage pregnancy. But if she believes there's nothing wrong with teenage pregnancy, then how is she going to receive deliverance with that kind of big knowledge? Strange sexual preferences means the body is compromised. What do we mean by the body is compromised? Cage and compromised sense organs. When the body is compromised, all the five sense organs are compromised. They will not do what they are supposed to do. You will smell the strange thing. You will want to smell. I told you the sister, when she was pregnant, she wanted to smell poo-poo. She would have poo-poo in her dress when she was pregnant. What kind of pregnancy is that? And she would bring the poo-poo and smell. She said it herself. Maybe some of you know her. Why am I saying this? Cage sense organs. The organ is cage. Smell poo poo, and you begin to smell poo poo. Strange battles. There are strange battles. We know. How do we know that the body is compromised? Gluttony. Take a look at the pictures of people who are excessively obese. And even though they're obese, when they get to McDonald's, they call for a giant size. G, upper G. Not just G, upper G. But you know there is something wrong. Gluttony is a factor of a compromised body. What do we mean by the, the, the body is compromised? Oversleeping, but no rest. I see people who come to church, they can't keep their eyes open for 10, for 10 minutes. The moment they sit, they begin to sleep. The moment they sit down, it is a spiritual condition. Even, they, even if they sleep through the whole night, they will still do that. Have a prayer for them tonight. And that prayer will work deliverance. Oversleeping but no rest. The body is compromised. Unnatural skin discoloration. Bleaching. It is because the body is compromised. That is why somebody wants to be the color that God did not create you to be. You want to be the color that God did not create you to be. So you know better than God. The power giving you those thoughts, they are in you. They must die. Sixteen, how do we know, what do we mean by a body that is compromised? Demonic presence manifestation. Everybody carry that. Everybody. So long you commit one sin, there's the demonic presence. Every time you commit a sin, it is the manifestation of a demonic presence. Tell somebody. Every time you commit a sin, it is the manifestation of a demonic presence. 17. Love for sin. The body is compromised. There is a love for sin. Number 18. Impaired eyes. Ears and nose and mouth, they are impaired. It means the body is compromised. I've just given you these examples of a compromised body. Now I'm going, next time, not now, how to pray now. I'm going to give you how do they get to be compromised? See, what you have just gained tonight, God is happy. Why is God happy? God knows. You are gaining knowledge to come out of your trouble. There are those who have trouble. They don't even know they have trouble. There are those who have trouble and they know and they want to come out. Now when you speak to God, God will be happy to answer. There is a prayer we pray. We call it anti-infirmity missile. In that prayer called anti-infirmity missile. Anti-infirmity missile. Let me show you that prayer. As, as you rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Anti-infirmity prayers. Except you understand what we are dealing with with a compromised body. Those prayers will not make sense. One of the prayers in anti-infirmity missile is these prayers. It's, as a matter of fact, I want you... Can you see my screen? Is it too small for you? It's too small. Okay, see the prayer. It says, 
Holy Ghost fire, burn all disease deposits in my body to ashes. Can you say that? Say it one more time. How did these disease deposits get to your body? 99% of them is through food. I'll be giving you some deep secret about food in this series. Look at another prayer. It says, it says, number seven, anything I have eaten or swallowed, presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power of God. Can everybody say that? Say it again. Um, in number nine, is any organ in my body performing below expectation? Why are the organs performing below expectation? Because the body is compromised. Can somebody say number nine? Say any organ in my body performing below expectation. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Any organ in my body. Performing below expectation. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Number 14. Say any ladder or pipe supplying evil current to my body. Why is a ladder or a pipe supplying evil current in your body? There is a gate that makes it happen. Every gate that is allowing your enemy to get into your body. Let the Holy Ghost shut the gate. Say every gate allowing the enemy to get into my body. Holy Ghost shut it down. Shall we pray? Continue. Any gate that is allowing the enemy to get into my body, Holy Ghost shut it down. Any gate that is allowing the enemy to get into my body, Holy Ghost shut it down. In Jesus' name we pray. Number 23. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity. Why are we saying that prayer? Because we are this demon of infirmity. You won't find somebody who is not demonized. Apostle Paul was demonized. You won't find somebody that is not demonized. There is a measure of demon in everybody. Don't be fooled. Can we take that prayer? One time. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Number 27. Say, oh Lord, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. Do you hear that prayer? Can we all shout in number 27? Let's go. Make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Listen very carefully. <laughs> because of our time, um, there's somebody. I just, I'm, I'm just going to show you this picture. We will continue here. The power of food and our body. Hmm? In this picture, I'm going to show you. I will not make a comment until next week. Thursday. Oh no, until tomorrow night. Look at that picture. That hand you are looking at is permanently raised and has been so raised for 45 years. Even if the man wants to bring it down, he can't bring it down. The power of the mind over the body. I will explain to you what that is when it comes to food next week. Because there is something now I want you to pray about very quickly. Lay your hand on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me, sinner. Forgive my sins, the sins of my parents, and the sins of my ancestors. Say, Lord Jesus, if I am none of yours, give me a repentant heart. 
and a godly sorrow for my sins and make me one of yours in the name of Jesus. Say every citation of my blood to nullify my breakthroughs backfire in the name of Jesus. Listen, do you know why your blood can be cited? Because they have their properties in your blood. I feed you the flesh of Christ and the blood of Jesus. Let every property of darkness in your blood be evacuated. Amen, Amen is not resounding. Amen. The reason why they can cite your blood and they will get you. They will use your blood to summon you. Many of us have been summoned to the covenant by night by your blood. They use your blood and they summon you. Any covenant using your blood to summon you to make you suffer. This covenant scatter out of desolation. Yeah. Say every citation of my blood to nullify my breakthroughs. Backfire in the name of Jesus shall we pray. Shout it like you mean it. Every citation of my blood to nullify my breakthroughs. In Jesus' name we pray. So every satanic citation of my blood at the edge of my breakthrough backfire and let my blood be transfused by the blood of Jesus. Can somebody war? In Jesus' name we pray. One of the greatest battles many of us fight is the battle of our name. Your blood and your name, they don't resonate. They don't correspond. And many of us, they, they can't come out of that battle except they prayer treat it. If your blood is not responding to the call of your name, you are in big time trouble. Many will die like that. Many, Pastor, I don't know my true name. I cannot understand that. But you have to pray about it. That is why they can use your blood to cite you. When they take your blood and call you, it is a secret battle. You will shout again the next prayer. Please don't close your mouth. Deliverance is breaking out. Say, wherever my blood has been used to compromise me, blood of Jesus transfuse my blood. Shall we shout? Touch your belly button. Touch your belly button. Hold your belly button. Wherever my blood has been used to compromise me, blood of Jesus transfuse my blood. Wherever my blood has been used to compromise me, blood of Jesus transfuse my blood. Wherever my blood has been used to compromise me. In Jesus' name we pray. Say fertility rituals and rites coded into my blood. Grip and quench the Holy Spirit. Be eliminated. Please shout. Be eliminated by the blood of Jesus. Fertility rituals and rites coded into my blood to grip and quench the Holy Spirit. Be eliminated by the blood of Jesus. Fertility rituals and rites. Jesus' name we pray. Somebody will be wondering what are fertility rites and rituals. The most common one is the display of our body parts for all to see. It's a fertility rite and rituals. You may argue all you want. It's irrelevant. As long as you are doing that, the powers have place in your life. That's why when you show those body parts, you are acquiescing, you are agreeing with the powers that use Fertility rights to manifest. What is fertility rights? Those things that promote sex. But they believe. You see, fertility cults. The cult of child sacrifice. And the cult of the dead. These three cults, you will find them in the book of Isaiah 57. Which, which I'll come to them. 
So when we say fertility rice, people don't know. There are people who eat a particular kind of food, like an aphrodisiac, but uh, they are only obeying these powers. Say that prayer three forceful times. Let's go. Fertility rituals and rice coded into my blood. Grieve and quench the Holy Spirit. Be eliminated by the blood of Jesus. Fertility rituals and rice coded into my blood to grieve and quench the Holy Spirit. Be eliminated by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, unholy desires driving and riding me like a horse. Be suffocated to death, shall we pray? Get aggressive, get aggressive. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are taking these prayers for the first time, tonight we dream. Even if you have never been dreaming before, tonight you will have a dream. And everybody taking this prayer, expect a visitation by night. Because what we are not supposed to know, the Holy Spirit is giving to you now. And this is what I want you to use to close. Take your offering. Except they see a miracle, they will not believe. You will see a miracle. Uh, you will see a miracle. You will see a miracle. Amen. Your offering is a token of your sacrifice. You can use your cash app or use Zelle, 703 595 I want you Amen. Take your offering. You are going to say this till the prayers to close with your offering in your hand. Are you ready? You can use your cash app. You can use your Zelle. You can use tightly on the website. Whichever system is okay for you. But this prayer that I want you to take now, please. The Lord that brought you here tonight is doing a new thing. This is the first of the prayer I want you to pray. There's somebody here, as you begin this prayer, something may begin to move in your body. Don't stop the prayer. Amen. Say, every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down permanently forever. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Pray like that. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. Every gate bringing me strange battles. Holy Ghost, close it down. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you will shout. Battles using the gate of food and drink to locate me. Blood of Jesus, let the battle cease in the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Battles using the gate of food and drink to locate me. Blood of Jesus, let the battle cease in the name of Jesus. Battles using the gate of food and drink to locate me. Blood of Jesus, let the battle cease in the name of Jesus. But using the gate of food and drink to locate me. Lord Jesus, let the battle cease in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And finally, make sure your mouth is not closed. This is for you. There is somebody here as we begin to take this prayer. If anything moves in your body, this is the final one I want you to take. It is a prayer of total submission. It is a prayer of acknowledgement. In a night like this, everything that you have prayed about tonight, they will begin to receive an immediate answer as you take this prayer. 
You will say, by the deliberate act of the will of God, I am a wonder. I bow in humble adoration and worship my maker. In the name of Jesus, shall we close? By the deliberate act of the will of God, I am a wonder. I bow in humble adoration and worship before my maker. By the deliberate act of the will of God, I am a wonder. I bow. By the deliberate act of the will of God, I am a wonder. I bow in humble adoration. By the deliberate act of the will of God, I am a wonder. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, accept the offerings of your children. As they do this breathing exercise, let every stranger that must die take their exit. I ask you now to close your eyes. Let your hand dangle before your body. Throw your head backwards and breathe in slowly. Let your hand dangle beside your body. Let your hands dangle beside your body. Let your hands throw your head backwards in a relaxed mood and breathe in. Breathe in slowly. Breathe in slowly. Let your hands dangle. Let your hands dangle. Breathe in slowly. Hold the breath. It is the fire of God you are holding. Hold the breath. The strangers are dying. Now, breathe out forcefully. Good job. Number two, breathe in slowly. Throw your head backwards slowly and continue to breathe in. Breathe in slowly. Breathe in slowly. Hear your breath. Hear your breath. Hear your breath. Hear it. You are holding the breath now. It is fire you are holding. It is the fire of God you are holding. It is Holy Ghost fire. Hold your breath. Hold it. It is fire. The strangers are dying. Breathe out forcefully. Good job. Number three, the last one. Breathe in slowly with your hands dangling beside your body. Throw your head backwards. And breathe in slowly. Breathe in slowly. Hold the breath. Hold it. It is fire. It is fire. The sickness must disappear. It is fire. It is being consumed. The stranger is being consumed. The serpent is being consumed. Forcefully breathe out! Thank you, Lord. See, any attack because of my prayer and deliverance. Backfire seven times in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray any attack because of my prayer and deliverance? Backfire seven times in the name of Jesus. Any attack because of my prayer and deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Remember to join us tomorrow night at the midnight gate. Shall we share the grace and fellowship? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you rest. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let the people of God shout, Nine, Hallelujah.